my phone went off. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than how we normally do it. I'm gonna walk around the car and show you what we've done to the car, but then also show how much it costs to get it to that point. I feel like I've been doing these videos for a while, I do like a mod list, where everyone does a mod list. And you show your car, you show what you've done, but you don't, have, you don't really show what it takes to get your car to that point. You guys are always asking for that, so I'm like, I should probably, I probably should do that at some point. Before we start, I'm gonna take notice. This is a new sample from Honda Company. Got that new sample shirt. Got that new sample shirt. You guys keep asking to do when the new drop's gonna happen. It's gonna happen in like two to three weeks when we're seeing this. So stay updated for that. There's 200 left jet tags left until they're re-updated. So all the shirts are on the right now are gonna get all wiped and it's just gonna be all the new line. So I'm excited to show you guys that. So this has been essentially built for like, kind of like the, the, the drift setup. I keep calling it the drift box. That's what I treat it as. Now will this say no? There is no well to diff right now. And it's, it's on it's way. But stop fucking telling me down below. I hear you guys, I do. The well the diff isn't there yet. I've just been, that's a cop out excuse. I've just been kind of busy, I haven't been able to do it yet. But after this weekend, I think that's when we're gonna do it. So this weekend I'm going to Pittsburgh. So if you're watching this on Friday when it releases, Saturday and Sunday you're gonna get daily vlogs. So stay up to date this weekend, you're gonna get daily vlogs. I'm out there, it's gonna be a really fun time. But once we're back from Pittsburgh, and we're done with those daily vlogs, and then we're gonna weld it, and then the skids are just there. But let's jump straight into it. So the first thing that we did, I think, which is a, a pretty starter mod, I'll pop the hood for it. I think like the first thing that we did was was a cold air intake. Now like whether this actually did anything, like I don't I don't know. It didn't really sound that much different, but here, just come in, Tyler. This one's for Z1 Motorsports. Didn't I mean it it did things. It I don't I don't know. There's the big you guys can have the debate down low if you really think they do anything. Uh, but I'm just gonna list the prices like on the screen and tally up so we can keep track of that. Right underneath that we have an oil cooler from Stillen. You see these hoses down here? And you see these? Not really these, that these hoses. Yeah, well, there's an oil cooler in there, which I actually will seriously recommend. When I went to the first track day, all the other Z's were overheating, but Selena didn't. So I I I like to think that's because of the oil cooler. Underneath that we have the aluminum under under shroud, the aluminum under shroud underneath it. I, I you know, it is what it is. The ambit wheels, I've been running these on all my cars. These are what I chose, it's like a cheaper option and if, and if one cracks on the track, they're not that much to replace. I haven't had any issues with them at all since I've owned them, so I'm still repping these. I have like some Delonte, they're shit tires. I drifted these and I'm still on them, like they're still here. Delonte tires, pretty cheap. Got that new drop merch. All that new drop merch, what, what, New what? swag. Yeah, that's. All over the That's place. for another time. I'm trying to like <laughs> sit in this without falling over. Corbo CR1 seats. I love these seats. They're so comfortable, especially for like if you're driving a lot in this car. Since my BRZ's been gone, I've been dealing this motherfucker, and it hurts. But these seats make it a little bit better. Also, Sparco straps, and then we have a harness bar in the back. All this wasn't too expensive of a setup. Um, it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty nice so far. I've thought about going like FX1 seats, the Corbos, the like fixed position but I haven't done it yet. But I haven't, it just hasn't happened yet. Let's go on to the back. I just opened the trunk like, there's nothing in here. I don't know why. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you stuff in the trunk. There's nothing in the trunk. But you can see the harness bar and how we did that. It's kind of like, I don't know. We looked it up on YouTube, okay? That's what YouTube said to do. That's how YouTube said it. Okay, a lot of you guys think I went single pipe exhaust. I bought the car with this thing. The exhaust setup is just, a straight pipe from the cat back, and it's a single exit. And I, no need to put another thing. I don't care how the car looks, as you can tell. I, not the cleanest car out there, but it is what it is. There's no way I'm gonna show you guys like underneath the car. But recently, we put camber arms, tow arms, front and rear sways, end links, and an eccentric lockout kit all underneath the car. So for suspension wise, we have that and fully done. Coil too. Oh yeah, and we have BC coilovers. So that's the full suspension setup on this. This steering wheel, I don't know how much. I'm assuming it's like 100 bucks. This wheel was actually from one of you bros. When I was in Pittsburgh at a meet and greet, a bro was like, dude, you need to have my wheel. And I was like, mine, I'll take it, I'll take it. So I've been literally running this the whole entire time. But I do know I have the energy short hub and then the quick release adapter. That wasn't too much. I think there's like newer options and up new versions. I don't really know. To be honest, I bought these off Amazon. And <laughs> that was the cheapest spot I got them from. So it was pretty cheap. I just had to match up like the, the part numbers to make sure it fit for my car. That was pretty much it. 
So, I'm pretty sure that's all the mods we've done to the car. I might be totally spacing on something or another, and so leave, leave it down below. But I'm pretty sure that's it. I got the car for 7K, so that's gonna be our start. So we're gonna add that underneath all the other mods, all that plus 7K. I'm, I don't, I haven't done the math yet, but I think I've spent 4K in mods. So I'm assuming I'm like 11 deep. I, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. And if that's the case, I don't feel like an idiot. I hope I didn't spend more than that. But more to come. We have a big, we have a big chassis mount wing. Cause why the fuck not? On its way. Got to weld the diff. I think we may be wrapping the car a cool color because why not? I hope that answers a lot of you guys' questions. I keep getting asked how much does it take to realistically build a drift car, the 350. Now, before I read it in the comments down below, I bought this car for 7K. It's a 2006, it's a rev up motor, and it had about 70,000 miles on it. I don't wanna hear you tell me that you, I could've gotten this car for 5K, or that I spent too much or whatnot. Depending on where you live, cars cost different amounts. So if you live in Florida, you might be able to pick these up for cheaper than you can in my area. I didn't wanna ship a car, I didn't wanna find a car for four grand cheaper and, and buy it in New York and ship it across the United States without seeing it. I appreciate you guys looking out for me, but this was a very, very fair price for my area. 7K is what I spent on it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the daily vlogs. Be sure to come back for that. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Tyler for, for helping me film this. Shout, shout out to Tyler. And as always, peace out and keep moving forward. I literally filmed this whole entire video in like one shot and had no bloopers because that's how good I'm getting, but besides the point. So I'm going to be going to Pittsburgh tonight, which is actually to yesterday for you guys. I'm about to go drive to the airport to go to Pittsburgh, but I'm going to be daily vlogging when I'm there, but I'm going to be giving you guys sneak peeks of the new merch coming up from the company at the whole new line. So if you stay to the end, you're going to see some of that stuff in the next ending videos for this weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for always staying until the end. You guys always give that mad support.